Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here at Arncliffe Station to continue on the bit of Transport Heritage Expo. Departing from Platform 4, Waterfall Service. T43 leaving four cars. T60 trailing four cars. Next stop will be Banksia, followed by Rockdale, Cogra, Carlton, Alloa, Hurstville, Princess, Mortdale, Janelli, Sutherland, and then Loftus, Ingedean, Heathcote, and Waterfall, where the service will terminate before returning to the city. And welcome to Arncliffe Station. Arncliffe consists of two island platforms, a total of four platforms. A lot of heritage buildings, and it seems that last since last time I've been here a lot of upgrades have happened all this shelter is relatively new along with uh, I believe new lifts so let's uh, dig into the history of Arncliffe while we're here So, Arncliffe Station opened on the 15th of October 1884 with the line from Redfern to Hurstville. It was one of the first major uh, significant stops on the line south of Sydney. Arncliffe was originally called Il Awara Road Station back when it opened and we are located 8.42 kilometres from Sydney Central Platform number 1. You can tell most services pass through here with uh, waterfall services and ex-waterfall services stopping on weekends and public holidays. And on weekdays we have uh, Hurstville shuttles that run between Hurstville and Bondi Junction. That was T22 and T126 bound for Bondi Junction. This platform. Please stand behind the yellow line. Please stand clear. Originally when Arncliffe Station opened it was two side platforms. When Arncliffe Station opened it was just platforms two and three as side platforms. However in 1906 platform one, the current platform one, uh, was uh, created with the extension of uh, Platform 2 becoming an island platform. Platform 3 was then left uh, abandoned until 1923 when it was then converted into an island platform, making way for the quadruplication of the line between Redfern and Hurstville. Passing through Platform 3, Express Bondi Junction Service, a car Oscar H17 leading 4. H2 trailing four. With electrification to Oatley in 1926, Arncliffe Station also became electrified. Arncliffe Station is heritage listed and has been since the 2nd of April 1999. In April 2015 is when work commenced for these lifts to be installed and platforms to be resurfaced with all the other usual accessibility upgrades. Passing through Platform 4, an 8-car Tangara. T39 was the leading four cars and T47 was the trailing four cars. That's all there is to know roughly about Arncliffe Station. There seems to be some bus services that also connect. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to head over to platform one and uh, go take uh, a look and wait for the trains to come back through. I am here on Monday the 2nd of October, which is part of the Transport Heritage Expo.
these damn heritage trains keep running early. T23 and T33 on a Bondi Junction service arriving into platform number three here at Arnhem. Stop for that service will be Walleye Creek, followed by Tempe, Sydney, Redfern Central Town Hall, Mutton Place, Kings Cross, Edgecliff, and Bondi Junction, where it will terminate before forming another waterfall service and return. And passing through platform number two here at Arncliffe, we'll have 6029 passing on a shuttle to Hurstville. Trailing loco is 45.01 on its way to Hurstville. And arriving on platform 4, waterfall service, T58 leading 4 cars. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Subscribe to my friend's channel. Find me on all the social media, all links to all of that back in my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. And goodbye for now.